It's Harriet's Kitchen! Today we're making marshmallows. Mmm! Ingredients Equipment Pour one half cup of cold water into a large bowl and sprinkle in two packets of gelatin. Give it a quick stir. Pour one half cup of cold water in a small pot and add two cups of granulated sugar. On high heat, cook the sugar water until it comes to a boil Give it a stir and then turn the heat down to low. Simmer for 10 to 15 minutes. You're aiming for about 240 degrees Celsius, which is called the softball stage in candy making. If you drop some of the syrup into cold water, it will form a softball on your fingers, but it's not that important. As long as your syrup has simmered for about 10 minutes, you're probably fine. Take your syrup off the heat. While your syrup cools down a bit, line an 8 by 8 inch pan with parchment paper. You could also use plastic wrap or aluminum foil. Add 1 tablespoon of cornstarch to 4 tablespoons of icing sugar and mix. Grease the bottom of the pan with a bit of vegetable oil, then grease all the other sides of the pan. Sprinkle some of the sugar cornstarch mixture onto the parchment paper and tap the pan to evenly distribute it. Pour the syrup into the bowl with the gelatin and beat it with a hand blender for 5 minutes until it's white and thickened. This is a lot like beating egg whites. Add 1 teaspoon of vanilla or any other flavoring or coloring you want to use. Beat for another 7-8 to eight minutes until the mixture is tripled in volume and almost able to stand up on its own. Oil your rubber spatula because the marshmallow fluff is going to be super sticky. Scrape the marshmallow fluff into the pan and smooth at the top the best you can. Use the sieve to dust the top with some of the sugar cornstarch mixture, give it a couple taps to even at the top, then set it aside for a few hours to let it set. Six to eight hours is good. Lift the marshmallow out using the size of the parchment paper and put it down on a cutting board covered with another piece of parchment paper. Peel the parchment paper off the sides, dust your surface with sugar cornstarch, flip your marshmallow out, and dust the top with more sugar cornstarch. Oil your knife a little and dust it with sugar cornstarch, then carefully saw your marshmallow into strips. Roll the strips around in sugar cornstarch, and then cut them into squares. You may have to clean and re-oil your knife in between cuts. Dust each marshmallow in more sugar cornstarch to prevent them from sticking. And there you have your finished marshmallows! They're so fluffy! Soft and squishy and exactly like the real thing, but fresher and yummier tasting. Now let's watch some marshmallows in slow motion. Boing! Ba boing! 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 And that's how you make marshmallows! Ooh, whoop. Oh, I guess I have to eat that one. Uh, okay, here we go. Oh, nom 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 nom, chubby brownie. Nom 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 nom. Mmm, totally awesome. <laughs> They're so fluffy! It's Harriet's Kitchen! Today we're making Malona Bars.